Hi everyone and welcome to the overview of the Coolis template. The first thing I'd like to do is invite you to check out the video tutorial series. The link is in the description below. With this tutorial, you will learn how to build this document yourself. It's designed for beginners and broken down in seven lessons that become increasingly more difficult. The first time you open this document, you will see the Setup tab. The Setup tab prompts you for the URL to your database. The template is provided right here. And essentially, your database is the chart of accounts and the list of freelancers that you work with the most. The idea behind this design is to have a way to enter information independently of the crew list so that when you make a copy of your crew list, the latest information is always there. Now, let's take the URL of this document and we're going to go back to the crew list and paste it into the yellow cell at the top. Now, if I go to the crew list itself, I'll see here I have an error to fix and I just need to click on this cell and click Allow Access. This connects my documents and I'm now ready to go to work. So in the position dropdown, we'll find all the positions in our chart of accounts and I can just type to find what I want. Then I could just type the name of a freelancer, but if I want to, I can also just choose from the list and that connects directly with my roster and that will pull their phone number and their email directly to save you a little bit of time. Next, we'll enter their day rate and we'll enter their guarantee. If the guarantee you're looking for is not in this list, simply unhide the pay hours table and insert a row where you need the new guarantee. Break it down, so here for any 11 hours we'll have 8 hours of straight, 3 hours of 10 and a half, nothing for double time. And if I go back to my crew list, I'll see now that 11 hours is available from the drop-down and my hourly rate gets broken down to the first digit automatically. You can worry about uh, breaking down formulas. Even if you try to delete content, it will always be there. Then I can specify a kit rental. And when I do that, I'll have to say if it's a daily or a weekly kit. Let's choose daily so that we can look at the next part of this document, which is the days. So if you'd like, you can enter a date in the first column. And if you don't, it will prompt you to do so. And the uh, purple column here shows me which day is today. So for instance, camera operator is working on the shoot and he may also have a half day of prep and a half day of wrap. Um, you'll see that the estimated payout updates automatically. And if you're worried about half days and how they're calculated, well, just go back to the setup tab and here you'll find two checkboxes that allow you to count half days as full days if you want to. And that's separated for the wages and the kit rental calculations. Back to the crew list, we'll look at the last feature, which is to track paperwork. I can specify if paperwork has been sent or if I've received the paperwork back from the freelancer. And finally, once I've paid the freelancer, I can check this box and this will gray out the whole row allowing me to just pay attention to what is left to be done. That's about it for the overview. Just a couple more notes. Whenever you add a row on your crew list, in case you don't have enough space, you'll see that these two cells pop up in yellow. And that's because the formulas that should go in the cells are missing. To add them back, simply select from another cell, copy, and paste into this one. And same thing with email, copy from above, and paste into it and you'll regain the functionalities. The reason behind this design is that we want to be able to just type any phone number we want and any email that we want. So it's important to have this flexibility. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me directly. Otherwise, I hope this will be useful and if you're looking for more template, check out my website or reach out. Thank you.